Hi Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Scorpio, this is your uh, weekly reading for the 2nd of May 2022 starting on Monday. Guys, I hope you're all well. I'm doing this reading uh, on the new moon in uh, Taurus. So this uh, new moon is all about creating, um, you know, starting, starting something new, manifesting uh, projects and stuff that involves love. Um, and the two key words for Taurus is health and wealth. Okay, so this is all about, um, you know, focusing on those things to live a happy life. So guys, let's get started on your reading without further ado and see what comes out. Angel spirits, guys, angel spirits, guys. So we'll, okay, that was quick. Five of pentacles, two of swords, and the hanged man, which is upside down. Okay, and the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Swords. Buh, buh, buh. All right, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, uh, Scorpio, let's uh, we'll dive into your reading in just a moment. But before we get started, um, before I started the video, um, I have been connecting as well with my uh, animal spirit guides. And um, my animal spirit guide is the crow or the raven, um, and for many reasons. Um, but I've got these beautiful cards. They're called the Raven Oracle cards. Um, and these are quite large, as you can see from my hand here. You know, they're, they're pretty big. They're not a tarot card. They're an oracle card. Um, but this is a message that um, came out uh, because it is the Taurus New Moon. And I'm using this card to inspire all the signs uh, this week. It's really beautiful. Um, I hope it inspires you. It says, focus on your target, aim for the center, and refine your technique. So it's like a, a bullseye energy here, okay? And it's quite amusing because we're in Taurus season now and Taurus is a bull. So when we aim for what we want, um, you know, we are focused and we drive, um, you know, we put our attention into whatever it is we want to do and that's where our energy will flow. So energy flows where attention goes, okay? Just remember that. Obviously, if your attention is, you know, um, distracted or you're going in another direction somewhere else, you're not going to be putting your energy into where it is you want to go, what it is you want to achieve and, you know, getting the results that you want. Um, so I hope you found that inspiring. Um, without further ado, let's get into your reading here. I'm going to start with the overarching energy, which is the Seven of Swords. Now, Scorpio, this can indicate two things, and I want you to take whichever applies to you because this is a generic reading. It's a collective reading. It's not a personal reading. You know, there are millions and billions of Scorpios in the world. This isn't for everyone. So as I said, take what resonates and leave the rest. There is an overarching energy here of deception. Okay, so there could be, you know, and don't get freaked out. There could be just a small thing that could be happening around you. You know, there could be someone who's not doing something that they should. I mean, you know, you guys are suspicious at the best of times, but it's generally, you know, this could be just someone bending the rules to suit themselves. You know, this could be a child, you know, misbehaving and sort of saying, Mom, I'm, I'm not feeling well and pick me up from school when they really are not, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. They just want to come home. They just don't want to be at school. Or it could indicate something in a relationship. It could be an employee. It could be um, a, a ton of other things. So just be mindful of this energy, which is in your uh, environment this week, Scorpio. And the other meaning for this card is this could be, this could indicate you. This could indicate you are the person who is bending the rules for yourself this week. You know, maybe telling a white lie to someone to, you know, get something else done. It's not a malicious thing. It's just, you know, everybody does it from time to time. You know, look, I've, I've really got to finish work early because I've got to run an errand or whatever it might be, you know, those sorts of things. So try not to um, overanalyze this too much, but just remember um, that is the energy for your reading this week. Now, the other cards that have come out, you've got the five of, um, sorry, I've got an itchy eye. Ah, YouTube. All right. You've got the five of pentacles, the two of swords, and the hanged man. So the five of pentacles is an indication of, it's kind of like a, a, a feeling left out, okay? There could be something, an energy here for you this week as well, where you might be having uh, an essence of, you know, you're putting in all this effort, you're putting in all this work with something, and you're just not getting the recognition. 
um, you know, you're being left out in the cold. You want to be inside here where it's nice and warm, okay? And you want to make some changes. And it, you could also be making some changes in your career path because the pentacles also indicate um, health and wealth, but they also indicate your career. Um, but also this can actually indicate just a, a lack mentality when it comes to finance. So you could just be, you know, you've got, you've got what you need but you just are um contemplating you know i don't have enough you know there's not enough money for this there's not enough money for that um so that could also be uh, playing on your mind this week the center of your reading you have the two of swords so for me as a reader this is about um you know you've got a choice to make here you've got a decision to make about something and it usually is something to it's a head over heart decision about something regarding your emotions um, this is sword energy, but she's protecting her heart. Okay, she's actually defend, um, making sure that she the decisions that she makes moving forward is going to protect her from disappointment, sorrow, heartbreak, those sorts of things. Um, they're not easy decisions, but you know I feel like you're at a crossroads this week, uh, Scorpio. The outcome for the reading is your hanged man, which uh, is basically sort of giving you uh, an aha moment. You know, there's going to be something coming through for you this week, Scorpio, which is going to give you that moment of like, oh, now I see, now I get it. And it's going to give you a completely different perspective. It's essentially you're going to do a 180, okay? And the reason why it's called a hanged man is because normally you'd be standing on earth and you'd be seeing everything from, you know, an earthbound perspective. But when you get the hanged man, it's about seeing things from a spiritual standpoint, okay? So downloading messages from spirit, downloading uh, messages from um, your guides. And also, this is also Jupiter energy as well. So this is very auspicious. This is a time for you to um, be perceptive as to opportunities that surround you because this card can also indicate uh, fortune. And um, yeah, like I said, you know, you could be thinking that you were going in a particular, headed in a particular direction. You know, you get in your car, you're going one direction. And then all of a sudden you get a moment, you get an aha moment. And immediately you have to do a U-turn and go back in the opposite direction. So things can change for you this week, Scorpio. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this reading. If you did and you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. And it helps uh, YouTube know that I'm here um, busting my ass doing videos. <laughs> if you haven't already, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And you'll be notified of when I upload next. Um, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, which means um, the format of the uh, channel will also change. I'll be able to do live readings. Um, so it will help me as much as um, I can help you, which is what it's all about. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget as well, if you'd like a personal reading, check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. Um, there's a list of services there, whichever you would like. And if you'd also like to learn tarot, you can do that as well. I've got a stack of courses running in May. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great week.